Today we're going to look at how to open up a digital planner on a tablet versus an iPad Pro. And I saw some videos out there, they weren't really helpful. They were like, so open your tablet and there it is. I was like, but how did it get there? So I'm gonna show you how it got here and how it looks different. Now this is a Samsung S8 Tab Ultra. So it is the super wide one. So it does look different and you can see my Diva Light Ring. It's like very reflective. Um, I actually prefer this uh, screen over the iPad screen. I like it much better. I think it's crisper, I think it's clearer and um, I just, I really like it. I can't have two tablets though, that would be silly. So we're gonna talk about that today too and which one is better for digital planning. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. And if you would like to create your own digital planner, I have a ton of videos on this channel as well as a course. I will leave information for that all below. All right, so let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the tablet versus the iPad. And I will also show you how to get your digital planner from like after purchasing it into the tablet because I haven't seen anyone else do that for you. We'll also talk about the different apps that are available on tablet, which is a very limited uh, versus the ones for your iPad. All right, we're gonna try a couple different apps. The first one is the Samsung Note. Uh, it looks like that and it comes pre-installed and it's free. So, and it's actually my favorite one for writing. Uh, I will just show you really quick if you want to start a new note. How great is that? It makes sounds, even when you do highlights, I don't know why, but I love that. And I feel like when I write, I do love the S Pen. It makes it feel like um, this, uh, it's my real handwriting. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a, uh, a planner. Okay, so when I go over here uh, to the top, you're gonna see this little import PDF. Um, so when I click that, I have internal storage. I have I don't use OneDrive. I think that's a Microsoft thing. Um, and then you have Google Drive. For whatever reason, it says loading. And I waited probably like 17 minutes. This is the second time I'm recording this. I was like, surely it will show up anytime. And it still hadn't, it took like 25 minutes. So this is totally worthless, five minutes. So instead, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to email it to yourself. So what I did is I emailed the file because I was like, I am so sick of waiting for this to like finally load. I emailed the file to myself. And then what I did is you get the option once you click any PDF, it will give you the option to open up in any of these applications. Uh, so if we just say Samsung Note, um, you'll see it's open. I did have it open here before. It does look a little weird how big it is right here. Um, so you do have to make it smaller, but then once you make it smaller, uh, because there's so much real estate on the left and the right, now it's like too small. So you have to pull it out. So if I make it full width, it's too tall uh, to fit on the page. So I kind of have to like push it in to right about 128% is what like looks normal. And so it's a little different because you're used to, I'm used to swiping left and right, um, but it's more like notability where you swipe up and down um, on here. And it looks like you can just kind of move this over here. Now, if I change this uh, to writing, and let's say I want to write in purple. So I'm writing, well, I'm writing in purple. I just like hearing that sound. But <laughs> anyways, you can do, it works just like the other one. You can highlight different things. And then when you use the erase tool, it only erases what you wrote and not the actual PDF. It doesn't affect it in any way. Um, so, you know, do I like it? It's a different experience. Definitely. I just like the writing part for this. Um, and I honestly, I do like the extra real estate on the right and the left. And I do feel like this looks a little bit more vibrant uh, than it does on the 
iPad. So for example, let's bring up the iPad really quick. So on the iPad, if I go into Good Notes, whoops, that's the wrong one. So just so you know, I don't know why I have two Good Notes, but this is the old one. The one with the squiggly line is the new one. So if I go into Good Notes and I want to import it, um, I believe I it's just in my yeah it's in my iCloud. So we can just import here. It loads up in one second. The cover is already perfectly uh, sized, and I can do that left right uh, scrolling, which I'm kind of used to. I don't want to say it's superior. I think it's just that. I'm used to that, so to me that feels more intuitive, even though that's not true. Anything can feel intuitive, like based on maybe what you started with. Uh, and then when I go to write inside of here, um, oops. I'm writing. I don't like the experience as much. I don't like the Apple Pencil as much as I do the Samsung uh, t pencil and, um, yeah, and it doesn't make sound effects. <laughs> so, but just looking at the two, uh, this one is, it just seems like this one is a little bit more vibrant. Oh, let me, let me change so that we're on the same, was it Pinterest? Oh, why isn't it going there? It is in... There, it's in draw mode. Okay, so I think, let me zoom this in so you can see it a little more. I definitely think that the colors on the tablet are more vibrant and more um, just prettier than they are on the iPad. They're a little duller on the iPad. They're not as bright. And I only noticed that when I bought the tablet and was able to compare them side by side. These just look brighter and happier. I don't know why. It might be because I have this, um, uh, what is it, this paper on here that could be a factor as well. Um, but just in general, I do like the iPad, the tablet, and I like that extra real estate on the right and the left. It just feels less crowded, you know, just in general. But let's go back to our <laughs> review of the different tablet applications for opening up digital planners. So this was the Samsung Note. Um, so let's go over to, I think everyone recommends, I always recommend Zoto. I don't know anything about it. So let's open it up and see what it's like. It had 10 million downloads. So I'm assuming it's pretty popular. So over here, you can see, because I downloaded that digital social media planner, it's already there. So we can just go ahead and open that and switch between annotation toolbars. Oh, it's telling me what to do. Well, that's useful. Okay, so skip. <laughs> um, so it looks like this works the same. It's up and down. It's not a left and right experience. And I have this page thing over here on the right, so I can quickly skip to any pages that I want to inside of here. So it also looks like um, I can pull this out to be bigger smaller. So it works kind of the same. And then when I write, um, yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, uh, when enabled the styles, create an answer, your finger will scroll. Okay. Um, there we go. Uh, so this is a little interesting. I think these are just the setting. My writing is thicker here than the Samsung note. And I don't think I can write. Yeah. Once you leave that PDF, you can't write at all. Continue editing. I'm clearly just drawing nonsense now, but, <laughs> um, and then we can erase stuff. Oh, it's a really thin eraser, huh? Well, that's different. All right, and it looks like, so I do like this. It looks like I can move pages around with my finger if I am outside of this area, so over here in this kind of dead zone, I can go up and down. Uh, and then inside of here, once I put the pen down, I can start writing. Oh, well, if I had the pen on. Pen is on. Um, so, you know, that's definitely different. So let's go back to annotate and just make sure um, annotate and I don't mean to do annotate. I meant to do view. And so when I click these tabs, they do work to go wherever I need it to go.
but that's interesting. I don't have to switch. I don't have to toggle back and forth. Uh, my finger works and the pen works at the same time. So that is Zodo. Um, and then the other one that I saw inside of the store was Squid. But Squid, it looks like you have to pay for. So I didn't really get into that because I don't feel like there's anything superior about Squid than anything else. But it did have 10 million downloads, which is the exact same as Zodo. Um, but you'll notice, so let's go back here. If I just want to make a new note over here inside Squid, it has what's called premium types of, I guess, layouts. So a grid uh, is considered premium. Um, I don't, I think these are for students, maybe music. These are all premium um, and it has it, you know, by different sections, music, sports, planners, and lists. So these are all premium. So if you want to just do, let's just do a plain note, um, just a blank one. So if I do a blank one, this is, is it called squid? I think. So that works just fine. If I want to open up a digital planner, I can go over here to import PDF. You can't import a PDF unless you pay. So if you just want to import a PDF, it's $4.99. Just, I think this is one-time payment. Or if you want to unlock all of those premium items, uh, you can go to upgrade. And then that was the premium that gives you all of those different types of notes and allows you to import PDFs. Uh, and this is a dollar a month or $10 a year. So it's an ongoing charge. So I didn't pay for it. I just felt like Squid, there was nothing really special about Squid. Um, and I think those are the only other apps that were really recommended. I think someone re recommended Sketch, but I think Sketch is more for like drawing. Uh, Procreate, Good Notes, they are not on here. Um, so I feel like that's one good reason just to stick with uh, the iPad. Um, I mean, aside from honestly, the extra real estate that you're missing, it does have more vibrant colors. So the tablet, if we go over here, they're, they're, they cost basically the same. The main difference is just that you get more real estate on this one and you have the ability, you know, you can multitask, which I don't even know how important that is to people. Um, but you can split the screen and then I can even add, I think a third application onto here. I could add the, uh, what did I have open? I could add this. Nope, I just replaced it. No, I know I can add a third thing if I could do it correctly. There is a learning curve too, because I have not used, I can't do this. I have not used a tablet in quite a while, as you can see. Um, so it does take a little bit getting used to it. I watch these videos and everyone's just like flicking around to different things like super, super fast. Um, and I am not doing that. There we go. Aha. So now we have three windows. <laughs> so again, um, yeah, OneNote is on here too. Um, I will show you OneNote. I honestly ha could not figure out OneNote. I've they had it in corporate America. I was not a fan, but someone gave me a OneNote uh, planner specifically for OneNote. So OneNote can't do the page annotations. Um, when you upload a page inside of here, so if you try to open up a PDF, um, I don't. I think it just adds the PDF. Like if we say insert. Yeah, you can add the pictures, like the individual pages, but if you want to add an actual um, PDF inside of here, I believe it will just add it as a little paper clip. So if we say add, let's try a different app. So I think Note Shelf was another app that works for opening digital planners. Um, okay, so I guess it's inside of here already. All right, so here is our, so again, it's that left, right. Oh, I see what I did. I just imported a snapshot of one of the pages. Um, I don't think I can add a, let's see, add import document. There we go. And okay, so here's the digital planner. And so in here, oh, so this is a little bit more like GoodNotes. Um, 
this is note shelf. And so this one, you can scroll left and right, and it looks like the tabs work just fine inside of here. And if we wanted to go ahead and start using it as a pen, we could do that. Here's my demo of the Samsung tablet with digital planners. So looks like it works. Oh, and this is kind of nice. So uh, it looks like as long as your finger, like before, is outside of the lines of where that um, PDF is, you can scroll left and right from different pages. Um, and then you can just jump to anything inside of here. And it looks like I could probably just start writing. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. It looks like these apps, you don't need to switch between the writing and um, the pen and navigation like you do with GoodNotes. Um, it looks like you can just move things around. So again, uh, what did we look at? We looked at Samsung rambling thoughts. I was trying to use the keyboard. Uh, we looked at Samsung Note, which is native and it's free and it works great and has like the sound effects. Uh, we looked at, what else? We looked at Squid, which uh, costs money if you want to open up a PDF or use any of their templates. And then we also looked at Note Shelf, which does act a lot like GoodNotes, um, but without having to switch toggle between the pen and the navigation. And then we also looked at Zodo, uh, which I don't even know where that is. There it is. Zodo, but that lurks more like the Samsung Note where it goes up and down. Um, but you don't have to, again, your, as long as your finger is outside of the edge of the PDF, you can like move around. And then we also looked at, what else? Zodo OneNote, which was awful. Um, I hated, I hate OneNote. I'm just going to say it. It's so not intuitive. I can't stand it. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's just an awful product. So that is OneNote. So I will probably return this uh, only because even though I do like it, I don't know that I loved it enough. And also it's just more intuitive for me to use an Apple product than it is a tablet. And let's be real, I'd probably just end up watching TV on this. Um, and I do like using, I'm trying to do, learn word lettering, which is on Procreate. And, um, you know, this is the only, Procreate only works on the iPad. And honestly, even trying to buy the tablet, I don't think they have a lot of people using it. Uh, I had to go to Best Buy to buy this and to buy it on Amazon was gonna take me like, it was like a month until it would ship out. So I don't think these are really high in demand. Um, I think a few people are using them, but for the most part, I think everyone is still using um, an iPad. Even though it's smaller, I do like this better. It's just, uh, not as good of an experience. Plus the battery life on the tablet, like it's 78%. It's only been 30 minutes. Um, this battery lasts way longer. Uh, when I say way longer, like maybe an hour and a half longer. Whereas this one was dead. This tablet died on me within like three hours. Um, and that's just doing like regular note taking. So nothing really extensive. Now it does have the keyboard on the bottom. If you really feel like you like typing a lot, it has this keyboard, it has that kickstand. Um, so you could like, if you really feel like you're gonna type a lot, this could be useful. The one thing I did like that was better is the pen. So the pen can go here and this kind of keeps it locked in place. Whereas with this one, um, and this is like a really expensive case I bought, I think it was over $100. So this, two things, one, I have to take off this thing in order to store it inside of here. And then even then, this plastic part, um, and maybe it's just this manufacturer, this thing falls off like every five seconds. <laughs> like, And I don't even like, I'm not that rough with it and it's hard to get back on. So um, it, it, is this helpful? A little bit, um, but honestly, this one is, this case is far superior, um, even though it has this kickstand, 
but I kind of like it because I can change the angles of the kickstand versus the iPad. I was not able to change the uh, angles with the Magic Keyboard. And also, um, well, one thing that is kind of annoying is this does fall off like in two seconds. Uh, so you can't really put it on your lap. It'll just fall. Uh, but uh, whenever you touch the screen, nothing happens on the tablet. It doesn't respond at all. To touch <laughs> versus the iPad as soon as you touch the screen um, if, if it's off let me turn it off if I touch it it'll turn on so that is a big difference I'm definitely sticking with the iPad I did love the how beautiful the tablet was I love the Samsung notes app but not enough to keep it so <laughs> that's my two cents mm -hmm.